Hey guys, what's up? It's Mo here with Hex Technology, and today I have an overview for you guys of Android L. So this was announced at Google I.O. this year, and this is Google's new operating software. Uh, right now I have the developer preview installed on my Nexus 5, and I've been really enjoying it. I've had it for a couple hours, I set my phone up all the way, and I have to say it works really nice. I mean, I haven't had that many problems with it so far, or anything like that. And yeah, so let me just uh, show you guys the whole overview and everything about the phone so far that I have found out. So starting at the uh, bottom, uh, right here on the lock screen, you can see, sorry, not the bottom, the lock screen, you can see that I do have, uh, it's been completely changed. This is one of the most talked about features is that the lock screen and the best thing about right now is the on-screen notifications so you can see that you have a couple of shortcuts at the bottom right here and if you swipe to the uh, right you bring up the phone dialer you can see and just a bunch of color that's the whole thing it's supposed to be looking really nice and have a bunch of color and just be fruity really and then if you swipe to the left uh, swipe up actually if you swipe up you get the color I mean the camera so here's the camera you can always change there's a different one so here is your photo option you can see my one plus one in the background so that's that um, yeah so and then once you have notifications here you can see if I have my Google now notifications and I pull down sorry if I pull uh, pull down you can see that it shows you the Google now notifications which I'll show you right here so you can see that the World Cup is right going on right now which is the Brazil versus China game if I click on that it brings me up to all my Google notifications Let me just do that and yeah so that's about it for the lock screen so and then to unlock obviously uh, you have you just swipe up one thing I haven't found yet in the notifications is um, uh, widgets so I don't think you're gonna be able to put widgets like you were before which is kinda sad but it's okay so if I swipe up one thing you can see at the bottom that has changed a lot are the buttons so it's a triangle a circle and a square now which is kinda different um, but I, I kinda do like it. it looks really nice and very simplistic so right now I'm not even running the Google Launcher. I'm running Nova Launcher. This is my exact setup as I want, as I was on Android 4.4.4, with Dash Clock, my apps to the left, and my stuff to the right. So let me guys show you the first second part that's changed a lot, which is the notification center. Mm -hmm. uh, so right here, you can see if I go to my lock screen, I have a notification. My friend just texted me, and. Um, okay so what you want to do is you can pull down pull down to actually view it um, and then if you want to get rid of the notification just swipe anywhere and it goes right there like that or if you actually want to view it just click on it and it brings you right to the app so it's right there and we're actually talking about Android L but yeah okay so the second part that change is the notification center so there's two gestures for the notification center the first one is going down and then you can see your like just your basic notification that's on your tab it's 3.30 p.m. vibrate and everything like that and then your profile and if you swipe down it shows you a lot more options mm -hmm. shows you their Wi-Fi sorry my phone's vibrating um, the Wi-Fi um, wife uh, sorry the brightness notification you can see if I brighten it up all the way um, Wi-Fi Bluetooth um, my AT&T thing airplane mode notifications auto rotate location cast screen and yeah so one of the new features in Android L is actually to cast your Nexus 5 screen to your Google Chromecast which I will demonstrate in a later feature in a later video but yeah guys, nothing other than that has really changed. Uh, the keyboard has changed, which I'll show you. Also, the settings has changed, 
right here. It's nothing's changed in terms of the way it's organized and the way you always view it. It just looks different. And I guess this is where uh, Google is trying to say say to the uh, market that Android is here to stay and this is just their step on making it an official software in terms of you know simplicity and whatnot like iOS is very simple but they want to make Android simple too for many other people to use and I feel like this is very simple just gesture just uh, gets very very easy and to use so all my apps are running very nicely uh, unlike on my iPhone on iOS 8 beta 2 nothing barely works I mean um, I have my apps crash all the time and for developer preview this is uh, pretty nice I mean there isn't that many problems the only thing that doesn't work for me right now is uh, Twitter Let me focus that it doesn't work well wow it's working now see it says Twitter stop but that's okay and then the other thing that changed I told you guys is the keyboard so you can see that it has changed let me focus that it's changed a lot actually and I kind of like it better I've been able to type way easier on this um, I can type really fast on my iPhone but on Android I always mess up so yeah that's about that folks back yeah so that's about it guys for this video this was just a quick overview of Android L on my Nexus 5 and I'll leave it a link in the description down below if you guys would like to install this on your Nexus 5 I recommend installing it there aren't that many problems with it um, that you guys are gonna occur whatever um, yeah so I feel like Android L is very nice when it comes to the consumers uh, when you guys want to update it's gonna be coming in the fall there's no uh, official date yet but I'll guys I'll keep you guys posted I'm pretty sure there will be more updates coming in the future to this uh, but other than that I'll catch you guys in the next video all right peace guys